Hi, my name is Richie Farina, and I want to welcome you to the Trotter Product Kitchen Sessions, a series created to teach you some techniques and recipes at your home. Now, while you're learning in the comfort of your home, your suggested donation will be harder work in our community. The Trotter Project COVID-19 Relief Fund is working on helping the most underserved areas in our community, with concentrated donations going directly to schools, their students, families, and local food banks. Now, you can log on to www.thetrotterproject.org or Venmo at The Trotter Project to make a donation. Your donation will directly impact young people's lives and their families and local areas that really need your help right now. Anything you could do is greatly appreciated. Thank you. All right, so now we're here to, uh, to cook, obviously, right? We're gonna make, ooh, buttermilk biscuits. Uh, now, I chose this because it's quick, it's easy, and also it's all things that you, should that you should have, you know, in your pantry already. Whoopsie, I gotta tell you two very important steps. First off, preheat your oven, 450 degrees. It's gonna take a while to get there, so start with that first, 450 degrees, for your biscuits. And two, probably the most important thing right now, wash your hands. Take 30 seconds. You can sing happy birthday twice, type of those things, and make sure you rather up. I'll be right back. Make sure that's uh, super hot water. <laughs> Are you washing your hands? You should be washing your hands right now. <laughs> All right, now that we have nice clean hands, back to baking biscuits. So, so there's two, two ways you're kind of make doing baking stuff. Yeah. You have your wet ingredients and your dry ingredients. So, so we're gonna start, start with our dry first. first. Now, now there's a few different ways you could do this if you want to. You can do it by hand. I like doing it uh, with machines because the whole idea behind this is to keep your butter cold. Uh, so we're going to go inside our little mixer here. Now if you don't have one of these little food processors, that's all right. You can do this all by hand. So to this we're adding two cups of flour. So I'm just going to dump all that in there. It's going to barely fit, but we should be good. All right. So now, to your flour, we're adding uh, four teaspoons of baking powder. That's gonna help it rise. A quarter teaspoon of baking soda, and it's a pinch of salt. That gives around a quarter teaspoon or so of salt. Now, what you wanna do first is mix all this together, so we're gonna give it a couple quick pulses. And that's gonna incorporate all your dry ingredients together to make sure they're nice and mixed. Make sure we take it off okay. Now next we're gonna add four tablespoons of butter. Now this is cubed uh, and the whole key to this thing is you'll make sure that your butter is super, super cold. So this is actually something you could do the night before if you wanna dice it, throw it in your freezer, let it get super, super hard. And what's gonna do, it's gonna turn to like little little beads inside of all the, uh, our flour mixture here. And that's really it's what, what's gonna help puff uh, the biscuits to make them super fluffy and give lots and lots of layers. So all we're gonna do is now you want to work quick here. So we're gonna pulse it a few times. Check, make sure we're all mixed in. And there we go. All right, so all your butter should be incorporated now. We're gonna take this lid off nice and gentle and move over here. So now we're gonna dump our dry ingredients. With, so this is the flour, the baking soda, baking powder, salt, and butter all mixed together. You wanna make sure you get all that out of there. Now, we're using buttermilk for the next step here. I like using buttermilk because it gives it a little tang. Uh, if you don't have buttermilk, totally understandable. You can substitute regular whole milk or kind of, you know, you want something, some, you want something fatty. Uh, so whole milk is probably your next best solution. Uh, but if you can get buttermilk, absolutely go for that. So we're adding one cup of buttermilk to our flour mixture here. So we're just gonna dump it in the center. And this is just gonna be like uh, kind of the same idea of making pasta. So you wanna kind of just get in there and really work 
the flour and buttermilk together. You could do it, you know, with a, a whisker, you know, if you want to, you do it with a spatula. I like using my hands because I can kind of get in there quick. And you want to make sure too. Now, the whole idea with this is you don't want to mix it too much because you don't want to develop too much gluten inside of it because you want to make tough biscuits. So, you know, if you get a little sticky in your hand, that's fine. You can put a tiny bit more flour on top and mix it together like that. Get off your hands. Now, you do want it to come together. So, you're gonna, you know, you are going to mix it here until the mixture comes together. And it's already starting to come together here. You can see we're starting to develop a little ball. Get a little bit more there. All right, a few more turns. Now, when you're doing this in the bowl, you kind of want to hold the front and work to the back. That way you're kneading it the same time as mixing it. So you're kind of doing two steps in one. All righty, so we're pretty much there. We'll take this out of our bowl and we have our mixture. Now, same thing with your cutting board. Um, I like working on a cutting board. You can actually uh, put this in your fridge as well. So this is actually you know, super cold as well. That's a fun little tip to keep everything together. Um, the colder everything you're working with, the fluff your biscuits will be because it's actually going to keep them from, uh, you want to keep that butter not melted. So the next thing we're going to do is, again, kind of just mix it together just a little bit. If it's sticking a little bit, that's okay. You put a little more flour on top. And again, you kind of want it just to come together. So now we're pretty much where you want it to be. Now the next step is you want to flatten it out to about a half an inch in thickness. And we'll flip it over one more time, give it a little dusting, and make sure it's all right there. Cool. All right, so that is ready to go. Now, uh, I just happen to have ring cutters in my house. You can use a cookie cutter if you want. If you don't have a cookie cutter, you can use a cup. Anything that's kind of, you know, this round diameter. Um, this size, I say, you know, it's roughly two inches. This will yield you around 12 biscuits out of this recipe. Uh, if you want to go a little bigger, obviously you're going to get less biscuits, but, you know, who doesn't like bigger biscuits? So we're going to go with this here. Get our little baking sheet together. Take just a tiny bit of butter, and we're going to base the bottom. That's going to give a nice crisp bottom. And now a key thing with this too is when you have your, your cutter, you want this to be cold too. And when you go on top, you want to press straight down. And when you press straight down, you give it a little twist. If it doesn't come out, that's okay. Go right next to it, same thing, straight down and twist. Now by pushing straight down, what you're doing is you're allowing the a clean cut to have all the flaky layers still be there. If you kind of twist it as you went down, you're sealing it and you don't want to seal the edge. You want it to be open so as it cooks, it's going to fluff up and be nice and, uh, and flaky and build lots of those layers. So we're going to go through here. Same thing. Maybe get one more in the center there. Yeah, we can get one more there. And then last one here. Now, everything's cut out. And what we'll do now is we're going to start layering. Now, contrary to belief, or, you know, not contrary to belief, but like opposite in a lot of baking when you want things to be spread out. Uh, if you're making cookies or something, uh, these you actually want to uh, have touching together while that's happening. Now, what this is going to do is that since they're touching and the sides are a little open, they're actually going to help each other rise. So as they bake, they're going to grab onto each other and they're going to go do, 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 and like kind of, you know, climb up like the little Mario uh, noise that happens when you go up a, up a ladder or a pipe. Uh, yeah, so then we're going to take this right here and keep layering all of our nice fluffy biscuits and nice even rows. All right, so we got seven out of that. Perfect. Now, this is not scrap. What you want to do now, very gently, you can mix this all back together. Now, these biscuits are the best biscuits, uh, and these are going to be a little less fluffy because you're mixing the dough back together. So add a tiny bit more flour, mix it there. Same thing, straight down and cut. Straight down and cut. And you can see there's a little difference in the size here. I'm kind of flipping around here. You can see these were our original biscuits, the first ones we did, and these were the second ones. So these might be the ones that, you know, in the restaurant we would eat, and these are the ones, you know, that we would serve to the guests. Uh, but since, you know, you're, you're eating at home, you eat all of them. You probably get one more out of here. Now, the really good thing about these two is that you don't have to eat them all in one day. 
you know, even, even though, you know, it'd be hard not to because these are super delicious. Uh, but they'll last three days in the fridge. Um, so if you just want to have a couple of biscuits one morning, if you want to make a sandwich, you know, eggs and bacon and sausage, if you want, if you have make some gravy the next day, um, these are very versatile that they'll hold for a few days and you're able to uh, utilize them each way. All right, so we got our biscuits there. Eh, we're a little short, but that's okay. Um, now, the you want to bake these at 450 degrees. Um, so we have our oven set at that, and it takes about 15 minutes to bake them. So you want to do uh, set a timer for seven minutes first, bake them. When the timer goes off, take it and flip it because all ovens have hot spots. You know, even the restaurants, your oven isn't even. It's not gonna do be the whole same way. So you know, maybe in the back it cooks a little bit more. So if you take it out, pop them in. Set your little timer, boop, 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 seven minutes goes out. You take it, you flip them around. You can also even change the rack. So, you know, if you baked it on the top rack or the bottom rack, you can flip it the other way. That way it will give you nice even baking. And then uh, when it's all said and done, you have, like we showed you before, some beautiful uh, buttermilk biscuits that you can have for breakfast with you and your family. Or if you're stuck by yourself because of social distancing, uh, you can just sit there all day and watch Netflix and eat 12 biscuits because that sounds like a good day. Um, so I hope you know you enjoyed this video and we please encourage you to donate whatever you can. Anything will greatly help this restaurant community. I love my fellow chefs and cooks. I love working with the Trotter Project. The young minds that are there, um, you know, we really want to encourage them and help them in this time of need. So anything you could do, please go to www.thetrotterproject.org or on Vemo at The Trotter Project. Donate anything. Anything you could do is greatly appreciated. My name is Richie Farina. Thank you for your time and stay safe.